Mayor Greg Fisher is in Tel Aviv, Israel right now, quarantining after testing positive for COVID-19. He says he was there for a week learning about public safety, innovation, public health, and urban planning. Fisher says he had three negative tests before that positive one, and he had to have a negative test before leaving the country. So now he has to quarantine for five days and get two negative tests before he's able to travel home. I caught up with him this morning to see how he was doing. As far as COVID goes, you seem like you are, you sound good. How do you feel? Did you get um, the two COVID shots and the booster? Kristen, you better believe I got the two COVID shots and the booster because I told everybody else to. And so that's why I think I'm doing pretty good. This has been a super mild case of COVID, just kind of like a real light flu. Uh, so yeah, I'll be through it real quickly and hope to be home this weekend. But it shows the importance of getting the shots because if you don't get them, Obviously, we're still losing people to the virus and people are getting seriously ill. So uh, when I get home, I plan on getting the second booster as well. Mayor Fisher said none of our tax dollars went towards this trip and it was sponsored by a group called AGC. All right, loaded question. So as um, simple as you can make it, what are like the main takeaways that you got from this conference that you'll be bringing home to Louisville? Uh, public safety. Uh, lots of great takeaways on that. Uh, the use of technology by the uh, police department here is uh, everywhere. You know, cameras uh, certainly focus on uh, the streets. Israel has got an advantage over us in that they have very strict gun laws. Uh, you know, high reg highly regulated. You know, that's at the root of most of the violent crime in America and Louisville as well. So seeing how they take care of the streets, seeing how they use technology in their emergency operations centers. They also cited urban planning around density and how that impacts public transportation as well as getting business, specifically startups, to the metro. He hopes to be back in Louisville by this weekend.